Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are going to be not necessarily rebuilding 1860 Munich but we are going to try to turn the, the Munich sides around and try to make them the best team in the uh, city of Munich. I do believe that it's a city. Uh, I have no idea but anyways uh, that's what we're going to be doing and I believe that they are in the third uh, Bundesliga so uh, I will just find a team and then we will um, take over their team so yes they are right here in the third Bundesliga and uh, they are in the city of München they only have a transfer budget of 1.2 million so I do believe that we will be using the um, uh, the youth academy a lot in this episode but anyways let's just get started okay so I don't really have a plan for when I will stop this career mode I just think that um, if slash when we win the Bundesliga or the Champions League that is when I'm gonna stop this career mode. I mean, there's not really anything to do other than just to uh, rearrange the team. And then I think I'll just see you guys at the end of the season. I will probably also show you guys who I've signed and stuff like that. So I think that this is the team that we're going to start with. I mean, most of the guys are pretty young, except for our striker who's 35 years old. So I'm probably in the market for a new striker. But other than that, this is basically just the team that I'm going to be rocking with for the season. I mean, we don't really have the biggest amount of uh, of cash but we have joined the preseason tournament but maybe we can get a guy on loan or something like that but anyways i'll just see you guys at the end of this very first season all right guys i'm gonna be honest with you we are halfway through the season and it's not looking very good we are on the verge of being sacked but um i mean we did manage to sign this player who's 17 i mean he's 18 now but he was 17 when i signed him uh and uh he's 67 rated overall so that is really great and he's showing great potential so that's amazing uh, Bel Cahia, he is going to be our backup center back. I mean, we've also got these two guys. Um, so it is looking quite decent. We also signed Mikael Uva from uh, Denmark. He has been playing really great. He has uh, scored 10 goals in 22 games. So that is really good. Um, so yeah, hopefully I will see you guys at the end of the season if we're not sacked. Okay guys, the end of the season is here and if we manage to keep our job, um, we will be uh, going into the second Bundesliga next season with this team. I'm not the happiest person on earth right now because as you guys might know, I'm a Barcelona fan and uh, apparently on deadline day we have decided to loan Griezmann to Atletico Madrid and buy Luke de Jong from Sevilla. I do not know why and I definitely do not understand this transfer. I might be making a huge rant on this matter. So um, you might see that before you actually see this video. But um, that is just crazy. Who's going to play as a winger now? We went from Messi Suarez and Neymar to the Pi, Braithwaite and De Jong in just four seasons. <sighs> Okay guys, I don't know if you can hear this, but I'm very sick right now. I mean, you probably can, and uh, my nose is completely stuffed, but that doesn't, um, yeah. Uh, I'm still going to uh, report to you guys, whatever, you know, we finished 7th in the league, and uh, our goal was just to finish mid-table, so we did that, and as you guys can see, our team is very good. I forgot to um, to uh, extend his contract, Neudecker, so he is going to leave to Inter Miami on a free I mean, it is all right because we've got this guy Otto who is 17 years old and he's 63 rated. So he's a great player. We've also got this young up and coming right back who can replace this guy in, in next season. So uh, yeah, we've got a, uh, a a pretty good team of backup. Also this guy Steinhardt, he's getting older now. Then we've got this guy Klaassen on the bench who's 21 years of age. Uwa has been absolutely amazing. Let's just quickly check his goals because I think he's been incredible so far. I believe he's got uh, maybe 20 goals. I'm not sure. He's got 21 goals and 4 assists. I mean that is absolutely incredible. But um, yeah, we are going to stay at the Bundesliga 2 for another season. So I'll just see you guys at the very end of the next season. Okay guys, the third season is now over and uh, I'm still sick, but uh, Drake just dropped, so uh, I mean, uh, that's good and all of that. Yeah, as you guys can see, we finished first, so we're going to be playing in the Bundesliga next season. And uh, this is our team right now, so everyone is above uh, 70. And uh, yeah, we've basically just got a really great team. So uh, we're really happy with this and uh, I'll just see you guys at the very end of the next season. So I'm gonna sign Aaron Ramsey on a free deal and I hope that is alright with you guys I've also signed a bunch of other free agents so um, yeah 
Okay, so the fourth season is uh, now over and we finished uh, 11th in the league, which is pretty good to be honest. Uh, we've got a very strong team again. And uh, if we just take a look at the stats, uh, let's just sort it by goals. You can see Ugo with uh, 19 goals, so that is good. Ramsey also got 8 goals and 9 assists, so he's been very good for us. Uh, Ployer with uh, 7 goals and 4 assists, and Clark with 4 goals and 4 assists as well. Um, not a lot of players scored goals, to be honest, but um, hopefully that will change next season. I'm looking to upgrade our midfield, Dressel. I know that he doesn't uh, go up in overall anymore. Maybe that will change by next season. Otherwise, I'm definitely looking to upgrade him. But uh, other than that, I think that we've got ourselves a pretty strong team. So I'll just see you guys somewhere in the next season. At the beginning or at the end, I don't know. All right, guys. So season whatever the hell is uh, over. And, well, we didn't really play that great. But we did manage to sign David De Gea on a um, 11 million deal I think it was and uh, also we have signed Thiago on a pre-contract agreement so he will join us when the new season starts and he will probably be like an 81 rated player I'm not sure about that but uh, yeah this is the team and uh, if we just take a look at the stats let's see if more players have been able to score yes a little bit you know the Barca's only got one goal Bergman also got one goal uh, I don't know how to pronounce Ethan Lyard also got one goal and I mean this guy only got three goals he should definitely got more he's a winger um, but it's still Mikel Ura on top with 17 goals so uh, yeah we do need some more goal scorers but again Caden Clark potential to be special as you guys can see right here we've also got a goalkeeper down here who's also got potential to be special uh, Christian Diaz 16 years old 68 rated so that's obviously very good and uh yeah i think i'll just see you guys at the end of the very next season all right guys i gotta be honest with you i really wasn't ready for us beating bayern munich in the cup um so uh yeah but we did that i mean we did also draw against them in uh, the previous month but we did manage to beat them in the cup i didn't really expect that but uh yeah we did indeed do that so uh let's go uh we have finally completed a uh, one objective after um five years i think it is i mean you know it's also very difficult when you're starting off with such a bad team but uh yeah um i guess that we kind of have turned around the colors of uh, the city just a little bit you can see our team right here we also signed kalido kulibali i don't know why he didn't play last game maybe he had an injury or something like that but uh savage apparently played uh, I just simulated it uh, through the calendar but yeah you guys can still see our team we've also signed Suso he was a free agent uh, Thiago is now 82 uh, Caden Clark 85 this guy Ua Ferro, I didn't even tell you guys that we signed him he's a regent I don't even think he's a regent of Tony Kroos because I actually did see Tony Kroos um, in the La Liga uh, after we signed this guy from Real Madrid as well and uh, he's also German uh, as you guys can see down here um yeah david de gea on the bench because i want to start this guy um but obviously de gea he plays the uh the simulated uh, games through the calendar but uh yeah uh, it's probably going to be a great season and our objective is actually to finish in a europa league spot so hopefully we can do that it's season five and we kind of do need to uh get up to speed so we can uh, win the league but um yeah i'll just see you guys at the end of the season or maybe at the halfway stage so you guys can see who i've decided to sign Guys, there's one game left of the season and we just secured ourselves a uh, Europa League spot. By the way, Ura is almost the top scorer. But you guys can see that uh, we are in 6th place, Schalke is below us and we just beat them 3-2. So uh, yeah, the last game doesn't really matter what the outcome of that is because we just secured ourselves a Europa League spot. So that is absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, before we go into this game, we're just going to check up on the stats because... Uh, yeah, again, this game is kind of irrelevant, doesn't really matter. But you guys can see we've got this guy, Ua Ferro, at an 89 rating. Clark is at 87. De Gea dropped down to 85. Koulibaly dropped to 85 as well. 
uh, Suso dropped to 80, but you guys can see that we've got a pretty strong team. Let's just take a look at the top goal scores. Obviously, it's Uwe with 23 goals in all competitions, and then we've got Uwe Ferro with 9 goals. Basically, we just need some more goal scorers, I, I feel like, because uh, Uwe, he is uh, stepping up to the plate every single season, and I'm actually kind of disappointed that he hasn't grown to more than just an 82. You know, he really should be like... Uh, like an 86 or something like that because he plays like an 86 overall um, but yeah next season I might sign a new winger that is going to uh, score a lot of goals as well um, but anyway guys I'll just see you at the very beginning of the next season maybe even later on in the next season I don't know but I will see you guys eventually so we're gonna sign this player on a free deal he looks to be pretty good um, as I said, I wanted a winger who can actually shoot, and his finishing is between 82 and 86. So hopefully it is 86. Um, so yeah, he's only 23 years old. He's obviously going to be a crucial player. And uh, yeah, I just hope that he's got very high finishing. Let's give him a five-year contract, and he will accept that. And uh, disregard the release clause. Let's just give him 30k wages, and he should accept that. Let's go. He accepts that. So now let's let's just see his rating. Uh, sent offers. He's 78 rated. Okay, that's not really the highest of ratings, but I mean, Suso is uh, 79, and he's only going down. Uh, while this guy is going up in rating, we've also got Luna here. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna start this guy, and let's just quickly take a look at his finishing stat. He's got 79 shooting. So if we make him a winger, he will probably go up in rating just a little bit, and. Uh, where is the finishing stat is right there he's got 85 finishing and 83 free kick accuracy okay so he is probably gonna score a lot of goals so I'm just gonna make him a winger and uh, yeah then I will just um, see you guys at the end of the season so we also just signed this guy who's definitely gonna be our backup striker I mean look at him he's 75 rated and two weeks to get him to a striker he's got terrible passing so we're not gonna play him as a winger uh, the other guy that we just signed uh, I don't remember his name, uh, Campbell, uh, he also hasn't got the best passing, but I mean, at least he's not got 59 passing, so uh, yeah, he's one week until being a right winger, and then that guy, uh, Ayala, is going to be a striker. Okay, so I know I said that I expected Campbell to score a lot of goals, but I didn't expect him to score two goals in his debut against Borussia Dortmund. I did not expect him to do that, but uh, I mean, I don't really have anything to complain about, that's just awesome. Oh my god, guys. I just quick sim the game against Bayern, and I thought it was going to be a close game, but apparently not. We won the game 3 0, and uh, crazy, crazy scenes. Um, yeah, still, one of the objectives has been uh, uh, made. I, I don't think we finished above them last season. Uh, we can possibly do it this season, and then we also have to win the league. Um, so this this is this is gonna yeah this is looking really good so far you can see the team is also very great Uha is unfortunately starting to decrease in rating now um, I just don't get how he's not like an 89 rated because he has uh, scored some huge goals but Ayala is uh, obviously growing so he can by next season he will probably be our number one striker okay guys the season is over and I think it's fair to say that it was a huge success we finished second and our goal was just to uh, come in the Champions League um, we also um, went to the semi-finals of the Europa League where we got knocked out to Barcelona so I mean you can't really uh, be mad about that our goal was to reach the final though but I mean we had PSG and Barcelona in the uh, uh, group not in the group sorry in the semi-finals as you guys can see so we could have also drawn PSG but uh, yeah we uh, beat Fiorentina for 4-1 on aggregate in the round of 16 we beat Villarreal 5-2 and uh, round of 32 we beat I believe it I don't know who it was I don't remember uh, yeah Dynamo Kiev 4-1 and obviously in the group stage we uh, didn't lose a single game so uh, it has been a very great season and we have definitely scored more goals than ever. Let me just show you guys. Campbell was a huge success as I uh, was hoping to be. He was the joint top goal scorer with uh, Caden Clark as well. Um, Ura was, yeah, only got 17 goals. I mean, he's also going to decrease in rating from now on. Um, but yeah, just an all-round great uh, season. And... Uh, 
yeah we got a lot of goals from a lot of different players which is nice to see that we don't only get get it from one player and i'm really happy with uh, Campbell because um, yeah he was like the only reason I signed him was just to get more goals from more than one player and if I'd never signed him you can see we we wouldn't have got any goals like we've got this guy who's a left wing he's played 54 games he's only got two goals and three assists so uh, yeah if we uh, if we had kept uh, Sousa we probably wouldn't have got that many goals but um, yeah I think I'll just see you guys at somewhere in the next season I don't really know when I'm contemplating whether or not I should sign Messi and Ronaldo's region, but I'm not sure about that yet. Okay, so as you guys might know, uh, this is the seventh season and we have not won a single trophy. Uh, so I decided to sign Marc-Andre Ter Stegen for 25 million uh, because goalkeepers are apparently very cheap when they get old and they can still be 92 rated, but they're still very cheap apparently. I might also sign a new center back and actually say goodbye to uh, Vitek because he is not gonna grow anymore unfortunately although he's only 24 we also need a new center back over here instead of Koulibaly so uh, new defense the offense is still looking good uh, Ayala he is uh, showing great potential but we have also uh, managed to find Ronaldo and Messi's region we might also be looking to sell uh, Teguia because he hasn't really had the greatest stats in the past couple of seasons so this is a squad right now. I decided to replace Tiguilla with uh, Lionel Messi's region. The reason why I decided to uh, replace him with a guy who is uh, 10 ratings lower than him is basically because he's probably going to get the same amount of goals, if not even more. I also decided to buy uh, Juan Miranda and uh, Kimpembe as well as Ter Stegen, but I mean, you guys already saw that. Okay, so the seventh season is over and we still ha have yet to win a trophy, but I promise you guys that we will win a trophy next season somehow. I don't know how or uh, what trophy we will win, but I do promise you guys that next season we will win at least one trophy. All right, guys, so um, I said that I think that we could win this season and I still believe that. We got Adam Hlosek on the, uh, on the top. Again, we've got Campbell. Uh, by the way, we sold Uva because he was getting uh, old and he was only 80 overall. We managed to sell him for 30 million though. We also sold our, sold our center back for like 45 million and brought in Rafael Varane for, I believe, 50 million or something like that. He's 35, so he's going to decrease. Kimpembe went one rating up, but he's probably going to decrease from now on. And uh, yeah, then we signed uh, this guy who was apparently a free agent. He's only 20 years old. Uh, and he's 82 rated, so he's very good. Um, so yeah, I mean, Ayala is definitely still gonna be on the bench. Instead of Luna, we're gonna sell him um, because he cannot grow anymore, although he's only 19. Um, but yeah, this is the team uh, for this season, and uh, I definitely think that Maciel, aka Messi's region, he's gonna grow a lot. He's only 18, and he's already 79 rated. So uh, let's just get into the season okay guys so we managed to sign a uh, 93 rated Jan Oblak for 5 million plus Ter Stegen it's crazy how Jan Oblak is uh, valued at 4.3 million but our Ter Stegen was literally valued at 26 million and he was like what four ratings lower doesn't make any sense but anyways we did get Jan Oblak so uh, yeah that's cool Okay guys, so as promised, we did win the league. Uh, I said that we would at least win uh, one title and uh, we did manage to win one title. We did not manage to win the cup or the Champions League. But you guys can see here Campbell with 27 goals, Klosek with 12 goals, Clark with 11 and Ayala with 10. So a bunch of goals. We will need more goals from the strikers, but I mean, if we take uh, Adam Klosek and uh, Ayala together they've got 22 goals so I mean I guess that's fine and also Caden Clark with 11 goals and 11 assists so this has been a very successful season and uh, yeah I think I will just jump into the very next season which may or may not be the last I don't know I really do want to win the Champions League so hopefully we can do that in the next season okay so the new season is here we obviously won the preseason tournament but you know I've never really counted that as a trophy, but we also managed to win the German Super Cup, so that's already one trophy. And uh, yeah, we uh, sold Varane and Kimpempe and signed Laporte and uh, Milan Skriniar instead. 
Um, so yeah, those are really the only signings that we have made, and those are probably also the only sign signings that we are going to make. Oh, sorry, we also signed Kamavinga. Uh, he's 26, so uh, yeah, he's gonna grow a lot. So another season and another Bundesliga title, and uh, as you guys also know, at the beginning of the, of the season we won the German Super Cup, so that is two titles in one season. Uh, obviously, that is very good. Uh, we did manage to win the German Cup or the um, the Champions League, unfortunately. But uh, here you guys have the stats. Campbell with 32 goals and 4 assists. Adam Klosik with uh, 22 goals. Um, damn, Ayala, he didn't even get any goals, did he? He got 2 goals, so uh, yeah, that's not really that great. But uh, yeah, that was the end of the season. Let's just get into the next season and hopefully we can win a, a major trophy other than just the Bundesliga. So I don't know which season that we're in but the season is over and uh, we won the league for the third time in a row so that's obviously good. We did manage to win the DFB Pokal finally against Bayern Munich so we are officially better than them so the challenge has been completed. We are better than them, we won against them in the cup final and we've won the Bundesliga three times in a row. Um, the German Super Cup, we won that as well against Leverkusen. As you guys can probably hear by my voice, I'm not sick anymore. Um, so that's great. Uh, we did lose in the semi-finals to PSG. I mean, I guess that's alright, you know. Um, so yeah, I think that this is just, yeah, this has just been the last season of this, uh, uh, turn the ties around in the city. Uh, I don't really want to go for another season because we have beaten Bayern Munich on pretty much everything and every single game for the past three or four seasons so uh yeah we've got this team with juan miranda let's just uh quickly check the uh the goals camp whoa okay campbell got 43 goals in 52 games he's just been carrying this team and um adam Hlosek also with 19 goals not really a bunch of goals but then we have messi's region joaquin maciel with 17 goals and 12 assists which is absolutely incredible uh, he's 90 rated at the, the age of 20, so uh, yeah, this has been very successful, and um, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, it's taken me a long time to, uh, to complete it, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, smash the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video, peace out.